Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today we will learn how to integrate Salesforce with Open Weather Map to bring real-time weather information for Shipping City whenever an account is created. With this, we will also bring the longitude and latitude of the Shipping City. Before we begin, let's spend a few minutes to understand what Open Weather Map is. Open Weather Map is an online service owned by Open Weather Limited that provides global weather data via API including current weather data, forecasts, nowcasts, and historical weather data for any geographic location. The purpose to choose weather, open weather map are it is free for limited use and also provide response in JSON, which is very, very important when we use uh, Salesforce flow to integrate uh, weather, open weather map with Salesforce. Uh, before we begin, let's start with the business use case. So business use case is whenever an account is created, uh, we want to bring weather information for shipping city, including longitude and latitude. In case if we receive a failed response, for an example, uh, quota exceeded or some other responses, we want to create a task and assign it to account owner so that he can take the next step. As we understand what Open Weather API or map is, let's understand a few things. First, you need an account. So go to the openweathermap.org, click on sign in, then click on the create an account and fill the form and you will receive an email to verify your email. Once you've done that, you have received an API key or you can also able to access it from openweathermap.org UI. You need that. So once you receive the key, wait a couple of hours. In my case, it took three or four hours to get the key activated. Once it gets activated, you can able to use Open Weather API key and you can integrate with Salesforce or any other system. To test that, uh, you can use this example and uh, for example, this year it's passing the latitude and longitude. You can also pass the city and you can test the API key. Like for example, here I am passing uh, the city London and comma UK's country, or I can change it to the dollars to just to see if the key is valid or not. So you can see the city is country is US. Uh, you are also getting the temperature max and temperature main. Another thing is you have to learn this documentation to understand what are the parameters and how you can customize this for your use case. An example, uh, units. So you know that temperature can be measured in Fahrenheit or Celsius. If you want to get the data in Celsius and Fahrenheit, so you have to pass the specific parameters. Like if you want to get in the temperature in Celsius, then you have to pass in the matrix or if you want in Fahrenheit, Imperial, and likewise. So make sure that you read the documentation. So there are very uh, API documentation, like if you want to get the geo code, so if you know the city, uh, you just want to get the longitude and latitude, so you can use the geo code API as well. And uh, Open Weather Map also provide sample JSON uh, here, which is required when, you, when we go and create HTTPS callout action from Salesforce flows. So this is the first step. So okay, set up an account and make sure that you read the documentation to understand that you, uh, you, you have fair understanding of what parameters is required in your case. Once it is done, let's go to the Salesforce. We will create a couple of fields to host uh, fields like temperature, then temperature mean and max, which is number, data type number, and then there is a geo code for uh, shipping city latitude and longitude, which is a geolocation data type. Next, uh, we have to set up the name credentials because when we go and create a HTTP call, call out from the flow, it requires name credentials. So create a name credential and you can use the URL, which is the URL of the open weather map. And it does not require any authentications because we are passing the API key at the runtime. This, I'm using legacy name credentials, but you can feel free to use a name credential to find your. With that, you can also, you have to also add open weather 
map into the remote site setting because we are receiving the data from external system. This is the basic thing and you can find all these instructions here on my blog which is integrate Salesforce with Open Weather API using Salesforce Flows Part 177 and this is all listed here with the process flow diagram. All right. The next step is to integrate uh, Salesforce with Open Weather Map. Now we will use the Salesforce Flows. You can also use Apex Cruiser and Apex Code as well, but we are uh, going to do the non-declarative ways. So first thing first is create a record trigger flows which file on record is created and I just want to make sure that it does not fire when shipping city is blank so that is this checked and make sure that you select the run asynchronous path which is basically uh, if you want to make an external call out this is you have to go with the synchronous path in this scenarios next I already configured this uh, call out but I will configure one more time but before you go ahead, we need a few things. Uh, one is if you look at the data here, we need this as well as sample response. So let's go, go ahead and we do the side by side. So to do HTTPS callout configuration, click on here and select an action. Next, uh, I can select my existing uh, action that I configured which is nothing but uh, this call out but I'm going to configure a new one so click on the create HTTP call out so first thing is you can give the name open weather map API a name credential so we already configured the name credential so go and select it and you can see here this is the URL good next you can give the invocable action so I can say call out one but you can give any name and this is basically get because we are getting the data we are not sending anything and then URL path if you look at this one we are missing this piece so we have to go here and put this URL path without question mark now the parameters if you look at this here it take a couple of parameters like latitude longitude and API ID in my case, I am going to use a different parameters, which is here. This. So I'm going to pass the city. So I, I'm going to use Q, which is nothing but the city. So once you identify the parameters, you have to go and add those parameters. So in my case, Q is city. And this is going to be a string. Next. I'm also, I also want to pass the units, which is another parameter that it provides. So I'm going to make this unit as a string. Next and very important is API key because without API key, this is not going to work. So you have to have an parameters and this we will pass when we'll do actual call. So right now we are just setting it up. It will create an invo invocable action, invocable action, and then we can use invocable action in a few minutes. Once this is done, we have to provide a sample response. So click on the new, and uh, you can go here. You will see somewhere JSON response, or you can generate from the URL as well for use your city. But uh, for for time sake, I am going to copy this <laughs> and paste here. And this is give you the data structure feel free to change it but I'm not going to make any changes click on the done and you see this is say that everything is looks good now so far click on the save and now we are going to use this call out so in this case you can say okay this I want to do the open weather map call out now app id so you know the your api key so you have to pass your api key like this again this is not a valid api key and then city in this case i'm going to pass my record dollar record shipping city and then units it is matrix this comes from the documentation here all right so I'm going to cancel this 
which I already configured here, the same thing. My key, the shipping city and my address. Next, we want to check the response. So to check the response, you can go here, click on the action, and this is the response code. And you can see if it's equals to 200, it means successful. If the response code is 400, it means city not found. If its response code is 401, it means invalid key. And same for plan XC, which is, which is 429. And there are some error code which you have to contact Open Weather Map support team to get more information. Once this is done, the next step is to update account in case of successful response. So select the field and we want to map the field line. So go here and select two X and under map, you will find the field line. Likewise, uh, temperature max and temperature mean. For longitude, go here and select the coordinate and here you will find latitude and longitude. That's all the mapping is. And to create a task, uh, I use the record create action and select the description. So description is nothing but my default response. So this will, this will tell us why it failed. Owner ID is going to be the current record owner ID. Feel free to set the priority and status. What ID is gonna be account ID and subject is the response code. So one can understand why it failed. That's pretty much everything. Make sure that you save this and activate. Done. Then next is let's test it out. <coughs> All right, let's create an account. So you can navigate to account tab and click on the new. And you can give the names And for shipping city, I'm going to put the colony and save it. Let's refresh this. And if everything is works, you will see here oh, uh, feel likes, temperature, mix, mean and max, and longitude and latitude. So let's try one more scenario where we are going to pass a wrong city and then see what happened in that case. Not valid city. And this time I'm going to pass garbage city name. And you see here 404, which says that city not found. Thank you for watching and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer.